Honestly, I think a lot of things came so easy, whether it was opening restaurants, whatever, that, that it wasn't even fulfilling. And, and, and in order to, 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 to fulfill myself, I, I did it with, with, with alcohol, with, 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 with drugs. And, 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 uh, and, and then when you finally realize that's, that's not got me anywhere else, that, that hasn't numbed the pain that hasn't taken care of the problem. You, you, you come to an end where you say, all right, I, I just, I, I've had enough. I need something, I need something more. I think I love the thing about Hosea is that uh, like so much of the Bible, it's just real, it's authentic, it's, uh, it's kind of nitty gritty, I think. And it's easy to, to pray uh, to Jesus for uh, a lot of things, but uh, to get really real and to really ask Jesus, please take this addiction away from me, whether it's addiction, depression, whatever. Somebody once summed up that all of fellowship, all of friendship, all of, of, of a community getting together can be summed up in, in two words, and that's you too, you're struggling too, you, you got an issue, you got a weakness, you've got a hurt, you've got something, well, through the power of Jesus and through the power of authenticity, transparency, being real, um, when you see that Jesus can really give you the power to do things that you absolutely can't do on your own, that, that's a power, that's a joy, that's a freedom that, that, that is, is, is absolutely amazing. And I think it almost boils down to that, that question of why do you really need Jesus? And, and, and if the, you can't really point to something in your life that you absolutely need Jesus for, I, I, I'm not sure you're fully in, in touch with yourself. I think when we begin to uh, uh, open up and, and realize uh, that, that every single person, probably every, every marriage needs Jesus, needs help, needs, needs some sort of encouragement, support, nourishment, um, I think that's when we can really truly begin to grow as, as, as a church and a community and, and be a light unto others.